and you're pretty mouthy, so I want you to go and keep your mouth shut until I tell you what to say, because there's some Italians down here. That, that they are looking for the light that shines in the darkness. They're looking for the hope of the world. They're looking, amen, and said, I want you to go down there, and I want you to tell them what you know. Well, Peter gets up, and he goes down there with some more, and he took some witnesses with him. He goes down there to that Italian band where old Cornelius is the mayor and the leader and the whole outfit, and he gets into the house and he starts talking about death, burial, and resurrection, the cross, and the law, and Moses, and the prophets, and all that. He said, I remember him. I was on top of that mountain up there, and I talked with Moses, and I talked with Elijah, and John the Baptist was Elijah, glory to God. And then I understood the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world, and he got so carried away, and Cornelius and his household got so carried away that old Peter forgot he was talking to somebody beside a Jew. All of a sudden, there was the sound of a rushing mighty wind, a duplication of Acts 2, 38, 39, Acts 2 and 4. Amen. Suddenly, there came a sound of a rushing mighty wind and filled all of the house wherein they were sitting. And Cornelius and all of his household were filled with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Hallelujah. Yes. Not an emotional experience. Oh, it's got to be. I mean, I get emotional. Hallelujah. You can't sit up here and holler for an hour without feeling like it's a little bit of emotional or enough, one or the other. Sometimes I feel uh, a boat, but uh, old uh, uh, Cornelius and his whole household were filled with the Holy Ghost uh, and began to speak with other tongues, and God gave them utterance. Why? Showing that the world is now a universal, showing that the church is a universal church. Glory to God, not to the Jew only, but to whosoever will let him come. Uh, amen. And though Peter, when he got back to Jerusalem and had to meet up with the deacon board and not deacons because they waited on table and did stuff preaching didn't want to do. But he got back with the elders, the apostles of the church and they called him on the carpet and said, how come you baptized Cornelius and his household in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Hmm? Well, he said, you manufactured yourself the same way with them, and how could I forbid them water? Well, now, you know, Wayne, water is not important. Baptism is not important. It's not. Amen. The Bible said that Noah and his bunch were saved by what? An ark and water. The lack figure, even baptism, doth now save us. Mm -hmm. Not to put in the way the fill of the flesh, but the answering to God of a clear conscience. What is it? Understanding that Moses and the law prophesied to John. What baptism were you baptized under? I was baptized under John's baptism. John's baptism was committing unto a law that could not bring you to the Father in perfection. Now, the baptism of the, the, uh, the baptism of the New Testament that Peter said unto them uh, when they cried out, men and brethren, what must we do to be saved? And he said, repent ye everyone uh, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins uh, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Did he say that yeah. or not? He did. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, people say, well, you're a nut. I mean, I'm a nut for believing the word manifested in the flesh. Father, we thank you and we praise you this morning. Pray to God that you'll open our eyes and open our heart. Let us understand the earth belongs to you. Not the kingdoms of this world. Not the devil, but you've defeated the devil and you now have become king over all kings, Lord over all lords. We pray, dear God, that your kingdom might be manifested in us and through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.
Nathan, jump up there and help him. Take that for that uniform on, man. That looks that, that sharp. Looks sharp. I, that, that's him good. But I want you to remember that your grandpa was a Boy Scout. I made second class. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask your blessings upon this offering this day. Bless each gift and giver. Bless those that have and those that have not, dear Lord. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Understand work that that the world that we're living in is so close. Yeah. If you took the tears out, if you took the evil out, you'd have heaven on earth. Amen. Uh, there wouldn't be any better places you could ever go than the kingdom of God and in, 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 uh, glory. To God. counsel of your word and walk in the light in the path that you have set before. Bless her and her family we pray today in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I want to say one thing for Billy this message is that uh, Lauren uh, got accepted in uh, to uh, some little old huh? <laughs> yes, I, I mean I'm not that brain dead yet. <laughs> But uh, Northridge University, and uh, I, they put me in a hospital one time at Northridge University. Uh, no. Thank you. Huh? Well, you want to foul me up? Well, you know, look, look, yeah. Anyway, congratulations, Lauren. Amen. Amen. And uh, Mallory is hoping that Cal State will accept her, but there's some question as to whether. Let's all stand and sing Mary the Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> 